at that. So we're actually the southern side of Gowie down by the looks of it. And the elephant is, he just came out of the Milwati. So he's pointing towards where the lodge is now. So the, the camera is actually on the tree just at the top of the, the screen. So if you want to try and orientate yourself with the dam cam. So he's actually heading west. I wonder what he'd make of the drone. <laughs> uh, he's got his head held high, so I'm, I'm wondering if he's actually hearing the drone, because remember, yeah, and he's got, the, he's got his trunk up, look at that. I wonder if he's trying to smell where the drone is. Uh, he's quite interesting. But obviously they've got very good hearing. There we go, we've got some more elephants there. So very good hearing. The outer ear does act like a big satellite dish and apparently elephants can hear uh, up to about 10 kilometers away. But, you know, they're doing a lot of research and the more they're learning about the communication, the more complicated it gets. They also believe they can feel the vibrations through their feet in the ground. And, uh, yeah, it's actually believed they can tell individual elephants up to about a kilometre away. Oh, there's a few youngsters there as well. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. And this is all live, folks. This is completely live. So Connor is out there right now. Uh, is that Connor? I think I can see him. <laughs> the elephants are heading towards you, Connor. <laughs> I think I see the vehicle parked. This is absolutely fantastic. Again, just to see it from a different viewpoint really is quite amazing. I thought they were going to be. It's not as noisy as what I thought it was going to be as well, but uh, it does look like a little bug hanging in the air. It's, it's quite amazing. I'll say little, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is a small family group and it looks like there's one youngster there and some teenagers and possibly that bull right at the back. You can see he's still putting up his trunk. Incredibly good sense of smell. Oh, and we've got the quarantine just top. And we have had Cheetah on there before now. And some of you might remember we came out of FC, which would be to the right of the screen, uh, just coming onto the quarantine. And we had the Unkahuma female lions uh, just at the, on, the, on that side, northern side. And then actually what's on your screen now, we had Karula actually taking out, uh, a, this is what, a leopard for some of the newer viewers. Uh, she was actually taking out an impala and it was almost like it was right under the noses of the lions, quite amazing. Look at this. This really is just so exciting. And again, it just looks so open there, but once you get down to the ground, it's actually not as open as what it seems. Now you can see one of the elephants actually doing that foot rocking. Not sure what to make of it. It's very typical behaviour there. You can see them flapping the ears as they go, and that again is very typical. As uh, it's not aggression, it's just trying to keep cool. And as Tristan said, it's extremely hot at the moment. It feels like summer. It really does. It's really quite amazing how these temperatures are soaring at the moment. And yet this morning it was still fairly chilly. So it goes from one extreme to the other, and that's really one of the things the animals have to deal with. You know, the, the extremes in temperature. And that would be quite uh, an interesting study, using drone footage to see the pattern of movement of the elephants. That would be pretty, pretty amazing. Obviously, there's a very nice tree. It's possibly an acacia. They're all feeding off of it. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Sure.